Now the first thing you want to do when managing a YouTube channel is to go into the Creator Studio. So here we are, and I'm going to go into the Creator Studio. So here we are in the Creator Studio up here. We're in the Classic Creator Studio. And if you take a look right now, we're at the dashboard. Okay. Now, let's say you want to add, uh, add a thumbnail to a video. You can go to Video Manager. And you can scroll down to choose a video. Let's just choose this one right here. So I'm going to go to Info and Settings. And you have a couple thumbnails they always give you that you can pick. So I can pick maybe this one. Or I can pick this one. Or I can pick this one. Or I can create my own. Let's go Custom Thumbnail if I want to add. I'll go to Custom Thumbnail. And let's say I, I just choose, I know it doesn't match, but let's say I choose uh, Google Tasks. And it's uploading. And now we can press Save. The changes have been saved. So now let's go to Videos. And you see that the thumbnail has been changed to this uh, Google Groups thing. So let's say you want to see this in, in YouTube beta, studio beta. You can go to videos. So now you can just click on the video. So let's click on uh, let's click on this video here. And if you'd like to change the thumbnail, you can go right here to where it says custom thumbnail, or you could pick a different one. They give you a couple different options. So you go to custom thumbnail. And you upload, pick the one you like, go to the top, and save. Okay. So now let's say you want to say end screen supports. Let's say you want to see end screen reports from the, the way you do this is Classic Creator Studio. I'm not sure if it's in beta yet. I don't think so. And you can scroll down to analytics. Okay. And if you go all the way down here, you can see end screens right here at the bottom. And here it gives you some information, right? What are your best end screens, right? So you take a look here. It's lesson planning, what's required. Uh, so it says end screen elements clicked. So 5% of the time it's clicked. Clicks per end screen element shown. So this is 4%. This is a much higher one. This is a 14.75%. This is teacher interview questions. Probably because it leads to another teacher interview type thing. So, um, what's a good one here? 20%. Yeah, vice principal question number four. So, why not see five, right? So, I'll put five at the end screen. And then they'll grab that one. So, that's how you can see um, end screen reports. Now, let's say you want to add and edit cards. Okay. So again, we go to uh, Video Manager. If you want to add and edit cards, and let's let's go to this one we were just working on. We'll go. Uh, you pick the video you like that you want to add a card to. So let's say we pick in this one, and then we're going to scroll down to Cards. So here we're going to add a card. Okay, let's go. To and what you do is you pick a time you want to add this card. So let's say at six seconds, I want to add a card. I'll go to Add Card. There's a couple different options you can have. You can add a video. So I'll choose a video that I just uh, published recently, uh, Test Taking Strategies. And now a card has been added for Test Taking Strategies here. If you want to edit this card, you can just click here as well. Take you right back to it, and maybe you could change it. You could delete it if you want. I'll change it to Seven Habits of High-Performing Students. That's been switched. You can add another card. You don't want to add too many. Um, let's say you want to do a poll. Listen, you can do a link, a poll. You can um, promote another channel, or you could even do a playlist. But let's say you want to do a poll, and you say, "Which tool do you most?" And then you could say, "Drive Blogger." So you create card. And now you've created a poll. You see it pops up right here. Which Google tool would you use most? You could click information. And there goes your poll. There goes your poll. And you could pick one, whatever, let's say. Okay. 
So let's go back to the video manager. So now let's see how we can add a card with a YouTube Studio Studio beta. Beta. So you go to videos again. You pick your video here. Click this video. Here's a different one. And if you want to add a card, you just scroll down. Okay, so I clicked on the so I went to videos. I clicked on the video I wanted to add, and you see cards down here. I'll click on this. And in YouTube Studio Beta, it's almost the same exact thing, right? You pick your time, add card. This time you want to add create. Let's say you want a playlist instead, you go to playlist and educational frameworks. Create card. And there you have it. So that's how you can do it from YouTube Studio Beta. Now let's go back. So now let's say you want to check out the results of these polls. So we just did a poll on which Google tool do you prefer most. But let's check out some of some other polls I've given. So I'm going to go again to Analytics. I'm in Video Manager. Okay, I'm in the Creator Studio. Video Manager. But I'm, I'm actually going to go down to Analytics, right? So you want to go to Analytics. Okay, and if you scroll down from Analytics, you'll see here Cards. And here's how you can see some reports on the... So let's take a look at some of these cards here that I've asked. Um, here's one. Do you enjoy your career teaching? Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's check out the results. 72% say yes. 27% say no. That's a higher percentage than I would have imagined. Okay. <laughs> but anyway. Um, all right, so 72%. Let's see another, another one I, I've given. Um, have you ever used portfolios as an assessment? Eh, half the people say yes. Half the people say no. Um, um, okay, so now let's say you want to do live chatting. Okay, so again, we're we're in the Creator Studio. If you want to do, you have to go to live streaming. Okay, and before I start, there's actually a lot you have to do. I don't think it's going to be. It's, I don't think it's going to be in the Google Certified Educator Level Two test. Live streaming, I really doubt that. But here's just a checklist of things you have to. You have to set up an encoding software, add stream info. Um, you can go live, but all this has to be taken care of. So if you take the test, uh, Google Certified Educator Level 2, they'll have this already. You Obviously, it'll take way too long. Um, so you would go to, to live streaming, basically. And uh, the last one is uh, commenting. So let's say you want to uh, uh, you know, uh, manage your comments. So uh, again, we were, we were just on, on uh, live streaming. But uh, again, we're always in Creator Studio. So you can go to uh, Community. So I'm clicking on Community now. And if you want to manage these comments, you can go, I'm in community, and I'm going to go to community settings. And take a look here. This says default settings, and then this is how you can control your comments, right? Take a look. It says you can allow all comments, you can hold inappropriate comments for review, you can hold all comments for review. You can disable comments. So if you're a teacher, you might want to disable comments if you're at the younger grades or hold all of them f for review, right? Um, and then see if it's okay or if it's correct and then have your, your students respond. Also, um, if you want to have uh, hold inappropriate messages for live chatting, is all down here. So that was, again, from community and community settings, okay?